I'm back. Last week I was a uh, Goom Bay dance band by um, uh, Gulag Tubes, Al Gore's Rhythm. And um, I actually spent quite um, an interesting week um, doing lots of different things. But I actually um, did five um, different videos that I posted up to uh, my Odyssey channel. And uh, if you want, if you if you want to search for that, you you, you can do. That's um, Odyssey is another video hosting platform, and it, it's quite good. The quality is, is is pretty good, and the main advantage over this platform is that there's there's no adverts, so I'm unmonetized over there, just like I am on the uh, on 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 the uh, Gulag Tube over here. So if you want to find it, you you can you um if you just put into your search engine. Um, the letter O, D, Y, S, and then double E. Um, and then just to search um, my channel name over on Odyssey is the same as my channel name over here. So if you want to um, find that, um, and um, I think Al Gore, it might be a bit sensitive if I post a direct link. So, you know, if you want to use your free will to, to actually find me over on Odyssey, one more time, O D Y S W E, and then my channel name is just my name over there. You can you can find all of these these videos that I did, uh, and and indeed all the content, all the videos that I've ever done, um, including ones that might have been um, removed by by Al Gore over on PooTube. PooTube. Um, so anyway, I just thought I'd tell you a little bit about uh, some of these these ones. So, um, the, the first one, uh, the contraband material, basically was about was about truth. It was that was the one that um, Al Gore didn't like, and um, all I did was just took a letter from Al, uh, Alexander Solzhenitsyn and um, just about truth and why truth is important and why we must always speak the truth. And I just spoke about it and made some connections to the, to the current day. Uh, I don't think it liked the reference to the um, no. Well, I'm not going to say that anyway. Anyway, the second one that I did, the, the these these ones are going to be just Odyssey exclusives. So if you want to watch these, you know, this channel, this um, Gulag Tube ain't going to feature any of these videos. These are going to be purely Odyssey exclusives. The first one was about my dad and what the November Hotel Sierra. <clears throat> did to him like the november hotel sierra they they don't like old people and um they didn't like they make them disappear and they were doing that a long time before the um the the, the divic 91 spell was was cast so in this video i actually explain what happened to him and um you know why how how at that stage um, I, I, I myself was um, overly trusting and, and got conned. Um, so yeah, that was a, that was a hard one for me to, to make because it's obviously talking about personal things that happened. On Tuesday, I picked up on this idea of um, mass formation, this Mat Matthias Desmet, and I, I think that some people are going to be using this. I was brainwashed washed excuse, you know, um, to get themselves out of jail. And I think personally, that's very, very dangerous, you know, um, you know, for example, in the, in the 1930s with the, the National Socialists, you know, it'd be very easy for somebody in the Einzak group and they went around murdering people to basically say, well, I was I was part of a mass formation psychosis. Indeed, this is what this Desmets argues, that these people um, were part of a mass formation and that they were brainwashed. For me, that's a very close, not too far away from using that as an excuse that I'm not responsible for my actions. So I actually go into quite a bit of detail about who in particular I think might be trying to rely on the I was brainwashed excuse to excuse the inexcusable. And um, w will it work? I also sort of um, comment on, on that as well. On Wednesday, um, I've already got quite a lot of views on that, like seven over 700 views. I did something on the um, Lucy Letby, um, age 33. Um, yeah, it happened. Yeah, okay, well, let's, 
but what I, what I go into here is the um, the cognitive dissonance, like again, what that's being used for, and I think I've I've hit some nails uh, on some heads there. On Thursday, I did something about um, nurse nurse Gladys, um, you know the guy, um, that that old that old bloke. What's he, I can't even remember what his name is. Oh, Do, um, John something, John Campbell. Yeah, that, that's the one, and he's got like some initials before it. I'm not going to mention those initials because again, I think uh, Gulag Tube's Al Gore is very very sensitive to anything that's related to um chemicals basically let's let's say or the november hotel sierra so i'm not gonna go any further on there but i think there's a massive gaslighting operation going on there i don't believe that this bloke is is uh well i think he's 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 done a very very useful um role hasn't he if you actually look at what he was doing in 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 2020 he was like saying safe and effective safe and effective go and get it go and get it uh, and then now um, he's actually saying to people, um, um, no apology or anything. He's now saying to people, oh, it's causing the thing that I said that, that was um, S and E is now causing all sorts of problems. Um, uh, you know, and he's going into it. He's going into coincident all on all on Gulag Tube, and um, he's not being censored for that. So that again makes me think, hmm, that's quite interesting, isn't it? How come? He can actually make reference to the Britney Spears and coinciditis in the same video, and Gulag Tube seem to be happy with him doing it. Whereas all I have to mention is the November Hotel Sierra, and that's that's me done for um, for a week. And then on um, on Friday, I did um, something about um, how people can be controlled by. Um, how they're being compromised, you know, and they talk about various ways in which people can be compromised and have been compromised. So, as I keep on saying, these will only, only ever be on, on, on Odyssey. So, what I, what I really, really ask you to do is to go and watch those videos, write all your comments there. Oh, and you have a good thing as well about doing it over on Odyssey is that I can just um, speak plainly. Um, I think I was probably a little bit more passionate than I am over here because, you know, over here you've got to <clears throat> speak in roundabout terms, haven't you? And you've got to use um, different phraseology. And there I was like uh, 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 pulling no punches really at all and just saying things, saying things uh, pretty directly. So um, the only other things that I would say is that... Um, some of the videos I would really, really recommend you watch. Uh, one is Marty Bucco's one. He he did it about um, a 1970s um, series called Randall and Hopkirk Deceased. And what I got from, from this was uh, this, you know, this 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 kind of evil that. Okay, again, I'll just say it for myself that people like me were only like properly aware of from 2020 onwards. Uh, it was obviously going on for for decades before, you know, in my life. And um, there were so many clues in this Randall and Hopkirk deceased um, series. And uh, Marty goes into that really, really well. So it's a great one to watch. I've done a lot of research on that. So like uh, hats off to that. Um, a, a, another one was um, um, Lee from Veritas Vincent, one of his m recent ones. He was talking about, he made an analogy that I liked in particular about bullies and how when a bully's defeated, th they'll, they'll gob off as they're, as they're kind of like uh, scuttling off. And um, yeah, I think he's spot on about that. And I think that that's, that's what's going on now with um this this kind of latest um psyop about the um <laughs> the return of the the divic uh, 91 you know or what what they're going to call it now divic 33 or something i don't know but yeah i think like like lee i think it's just an exercise a frustration exercise gobbing off and then the last one um was um tim from fair play now he did a, a an interview um, 
uh, with um, John the Undertaker. I'm not going to give his full name. John the Undertaker from Milton Keynes, and um, he's, this this guy John has done lots and lots of interviews. Uh, Tim did really well there in that he was actually teasing some new information out of John. So that's well worth, worth a watch. Mm. Um, Tim's gone down the same sort of route that, that I'll be going down, which is um, you can say certain things on this platform, but you know, um, so there was a cut down version of the interview posted up on PooTube, um, but then the, the really good stuff is, is on, uh, on Rumble. There's a much longer video on Rumble. So those are, that's, that's really what I want to say. Oh, the other thing is, um, you know, for me personally this week, um, I've got a few um, shorts, um, poo tube uh, shorts lined up. Um, so uh, the, the, I'm just going to basically take that Mickey now. It's just like that seems to be something that um, Al Gore struggles with. Al Gore struggles with, with, with irony and sarcasm and humour. So... I'm just going to take the take the mickey. I nearly said the rude word there that begins with P and that ends with a double S. But um, yeah, I'm just going to do that just re for, for a while anyway, just absolutely rip the mickey um, out, out of um, out of poo tube. And um, all of these nonsensical, illogical narratives that the sheeple have kind of blindly bought into using some analogies um yeah so that that's that's all that i want to say today so um yeah god bless